Hey Sagittarius, how you doing? I hope you are really well. My name is Diane and this is Madame Butterfly Tarot and we are going to do a new love reading for August. But you know it's a timeless reading so whenever you happen to get this is when you were meant to see it. You're very welcome here Sagittarius, thank you so much for being here with me. I really appreciate it and if you feel you know like the reading resonates and you enjoy it and you feel called to like and subscribe for me I'd appreciate that very much. I'm just going to shuffle these because I'd like to start off with uh, some of these to see who's coming towards you. Because I have this feeling, I don't know, it's either you or your person has a past energy lingering. Tell me about this new person coming towards Sagittarius. Yeah, okay. Let me just reshuffle and see if it comes out again. Tell me about this new person coming towards Sag. Okay, so this new person, you have fertility here. This is something um, that really has the potential for growth. This could be like an empress type energy coming towards you. Um, this could be the one that you have children with. Tell me about this new person coming towards Sagittarius. You have breakthrough and you have reconciliation. So for a lot of you, this might be someone that you already know, but there's some kind of breakthrough that leads to a reconciliation here. You know, if this is like a new energy that you're uh, not talking to for some reason, there's gonna be some kind of reconciliation here and there's gonna be happiness. Let's get a little more. Tell me about this new person coming towards Sag. Let's get two more. Selection. So this person might be making some kind of choice here. Let's get one more. Tell me about this new person. Yeah, this is a beautiful new connection you got coming in. You have romance. Um, this person may have had to make a choice between you and someone else. And I feel like maybe that's what the breakthrough is. It's the choice. Because it's possible that you met this person while they were kind of dealing with an ex or something, like an ex that wouldn't leave. Or, you know, an ex that's still kind of energetically clung on to them or something. <clears throat> Excuse me, but there's definitely going to be a new beginning here. I feel like there's a lot of romance, like a lot of passion, a lot of romance here. However, this past energy this person was dealing with is was savage, okay? Um, the past energy that they were dealing with, tell me a little bit more about this person's past energy. Yeah. You have secrets here. Whoever this person was dealing with in the past, I feel like I have to tell you because they want to explain to you or spirit wants you to know. <clears throat> or this could be a reading for a cross watcher that needs to hear it or something. This new person, in the past, they were dealing with someone who was very secretive and I feel like they ghosted them. This person ghosted your person. Um, they may have been someone that looked very good, like they presented themselves very well. They were able to do that. Maybe they looked, maybe they were very handsome or very beautiful or something, or they just were always well turned out, you know? But that was just lies, basically. Like underneath it, they were very savage. Yeah, this person, this new person coming towards you, they're, they're single. All right, I think if anything, they were dealing with like, it's an ex that won't leave, but it's like they've made the decision to cut them off, right? There's some kind of breakthrough here. Yeah. You have good fortune here, but this is like broken glass. 
and it always makes me think um it, you know it's someone that wasn't who they said they were tell me about this past person in fact let's just get into the reading because all right Oh my god okay yeah they were really really dealing with someone toxic so you might be dealing with someone here who's like not defensive but cautious okay this past energy is spying on them because they don't want them to move on right it's one of those things like they don't want them to be happy but they equally they don't want them to you know if you know i don't want you but i don't want anyone else to have you the past energy that this person was dealing with was toxic it might have been a fire sign it was hollow, right? See, again, there's something with this about like the person looked good or they, they presented well, but it was just a show. It's just a show. And there was this, this person has been given signs from spirit, like stop, just stop, stop entertaining this person. Stop thinking about them because I don't think they're in love with them. I think it's like a trauma bond. You know what I mean? It's like they've, they've almost been trauma bonded to this person and spirits saying to them like, yeah, now is the time to let go because you have restraints here. It's like, <clears throat> it's like almost like this person was trauma bonded to their past energy. So it was like stopping them from moving on. It was restraining them, right? Oh, but there's going to be a breakthrough. Okay, so tell me about this. Whoa. <laughs> oh yeah, they're so ready. There's going to be a new beginning here for sure. For, for show. <laughs> um, sorry, I stole that from the 40-year-old virgin. Um, yeah, there's going to be a new beginning here. Okay. Tell me about this new person <laughs> coming towards Saj. Yeah, so... Definitely, I'm like, there's a pregnancy here. This could be for the cross watcher, or like, it could be for you, Sag, if you're worried about never having children or something, there's a message here from spirit, like, stop worrying. Because it's either you or this person, there's there's children here, all right? You have the Empress card here for fertility of a pregnant woman there. Stop it. Stay where I put you. Um, you know, there's I, I see a pregnancy here in the future, okay? If you want that, you don't have to have it, okay? Don't, you know, don't come for me in the comments. I'm just saying, for those of you that want babies, it's here, I see it with this person. So you have this Empress and this Ace of Cups here. So this is definitely someone new coming in for you. Um, this person is overflowing with love. The Empress here, it could be a Taurus or a Libra, it doesn't have to be, obviously, but they're beautiful, they're handsome, they're abundant, they're self-confident, um, they're nurturing, it's motherly energy or fatherly energy, you know, it's, it's beautiful, the Empress is, is someone that makes you feel content, it makes you feel peaceful when you're with them, Ace of Cups, it's overflowing love. However, the Seven of Wands, they are a little defensive, okay, or they were in the past. That has nothing to do with you. It's this past toxic energy they've been dealing with. But I think Spirit just wanted to talk about it so you understand where they've been coming from. And it's nothing to do with you. If anything, if you're being nice to this person, it's probably throwing them. Because <laughs> they're not used to it, right? Tell me about this new person coming in for Sagittarius, please. This could very well be the person that you have children with. Um, I'm just going to reshuffle those because it kind of wasn't concentrating. Tell me about this new person. Oh, there's the Emperor. Some of you both have Sagittarius in your chart somewhere. And it could be something vague, like um, maybe it's in your North Node or you're a Gemini north node so that Sagittarius would be your south node right it could be some weird link like that that you guys have because 
I feel like both of you are mirroring each other. I feel like you're both going through the same thing. And it doesn't surprise me because this is your counterpart, right? You have the Emperor and the Empress here. So it doesn't matter who you identify here with, the Emperor or the Empress, it doesn't matter. I feel like your person is showing up as the Empress, but if you prefer to be the Emperor, you if you prefer them to be the Emperor, you swap that, right? But this is your counterpart. And I think you've both been through things. Whoever this Emperor is, they're making the decision to leave someone unpleasant behind in their own life. I feel like you're both mirroring each other. And no, that could be someone that they're still with, or it could be like, you know, like an ex, okay? There's gonna be, a, someone's gonna reach out here. Devil wants to come out. Why is the devil there? The devil in the Ten of Cups. The magician. So there's a reconciliation being manifested here. You might be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. Tell me about this Empress. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. This is like someone you're going to marry um, or build something with. You have the Empress and the Three of Pentacles. They're going to seem too good to be true. Okay? They're not though. And neither are you. They see you as the same way. They see you as someone too good to be true too and you're not. Um, this is someone you're going to marry <laughs> or like someone you know, um, you're going to have a, a long-term commitment with, like building something. Some of you are going to have a family with this person, if that's what you want. Oh, it's just lovely. You might have met this person through your job, or maybe like some kind of creative class at nighttime or something, or like at a work. Uh, like a, you know, a group project or something. You have the Ace of Cups with the King of Wands. I'm gonna reshuffle him. Um, clarify this Ace, because I'm not sure where he's supposed to go. Clarify this Ace of Cups. King of Wands, All right, I'll take him. So he's supposed to go there. So you have the Ace of Cups with the King of Wands. You might be dealing with a fire sign. This person could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or they might have it in their chart somewhere, okay? They're very charming. Whoever this person is, they're very charming. I would say very good looking. They may have been your boss, or you were their boss or something in a work environment or a team leader. You might live a little further apart. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's going to move kind of slow, or it has been moving kind of slow, uh, because this person just thinks you're too good to be true. I'm kind of thinking you both think that about the other, because I feel like you've both been in crap relationships. So I feel, I feel like it's it's gone slow because you both are just like, are you real? <laughs> Doesn't seem real. You seem too good to be true. Clarify this emperor. This person has definitely been burned in the past. Someone in the past presented themselves as something that they just weren't. Clarify the Emperor, please. Yeah, whatever this was in the past, they were dealing with something very heavy. I want to reshuffle that and see if it comes out for the Emperor. Clarify the Emperor, please. They're, they're saying Leo. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. Um, clarify the Emperor. 
talking about a decision. Yeah, whoever this emperor is, there's something about a decision. See, I feel like you're both going through decisions. Um, so you could have left your own crap relationship behind, Sagittarius. Whoever this emperor is was making a decision to leave this queen of swords behind um, and it's taken them a long time to make the decision, okay? Clarify the devil. I'm interested in this devil. Why is that there? See, I feel like you were just both in connections or like you were both getting over something long term and it doesn't even have to be you were in a, actually in a relationship with someone, like I said. This, whoever this empress is, I feel like he or she was dealing with like someone that ghosted them. So they may have never actually been in a relationship with them. Because that's so common nowadays. You know, people just think they can just ghost people without an explanation. Um, so it could be that bo like one or both of you were in a commitment when you met, or like I said, you were just getting rid of this. Sort of, there was change that needed to happen. Clarify this devil. I just see pregnancy here. <laughs> like I see a family. Clarify this um this devil please. See it's been slow. This has been really, really slow. Clarify the devil, that's a lot. Clarify the devil, please. Okay. <laughs> I think there was two third parties. I think you both had to make a decision. You have the devil with the lovers which again, the lovers is about a decision. Um, you have the high priestess and you have two threes. You have the three of cups and the three of wands. I, I think that you were both dealing with past energies. And I think it seemed unclear when you met. I think it seemed unclear for both of you who you were going to end up with. Because maybe you both had these trauma bonds to these past energies, right? Clarify this kind of... Oh, this breakthrough is going to happen very fast, okay? Because I was looking at this breakthrough <laughs> when I was shuffling. And you see how as well, it's, it's like something breaking free, right? I don't know if you can see it. See how it's like someone's broken through a fence, right? To freedom. Because then it seems to go down onto like a highway or something. Like a motorway. Um, there's there's going to be some kind of breakthrough. Because I feel like you're in separation with this new person. And I feel like it's because one or both of you is attached. Or like I said, getting trying to get this toxic energy out of your life. It's going to happen fast. This breakthrough is going to happen really fast, okay? Clarify this Ten of Cups. Yeah. It's because of these connections you were both in. That was the, the reason that you both had to wait. And I also feel... I feel like both of you have this sadness about... I don't know, it might come from your childhood. Like this Five of Cups here. It's like you both have this... You know, before you met, you both had these inclinations to go towards these toxic energies. And it might be something that, you know, you emulated from childhood, right? Doesn't have to be. Don't scream at me in the comments. Um, but, it, you know, it could be like something like that. And then kind of when you met each other, it was like a breakthrough. 
like you gave each other this new perspective and you were like, oh, I can be happy. Like I'm supposed to be happy. I'm not supposed to be with this, t these toxic energies, right? Clarify the magician. It's being manifested this, okay? Clarify the magician. See, it's very slow though. Oh my God. It's worth waiting for though. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So this new offer is being manifested, this new beginning. And the Ace of Pentacles, you know, this little archway down here, is what leads towards the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, happily ever after. Look, so this is what's being manifested. You're happily ever after. This Four of Wands, the Sun, a very happy and blessed and peaceful and joyful. Look, more children. For a lot of you, this is like marriage and children. This is what's being manifested. I just want to see, where did these, it was like that, wasn't it? See, pretty sure they came out together. Even if this is the four of wands, I'm pretty sure it was the sun, right? Um, see this eight of cups here? The idea behind the eight of cups is like there's a gap here, right? So this little guy in red, you know, the, the, they've, they've taken their cup away from somewhere where it wasn't being appreciated, right? But it came out in reverse like that. So they're walking away. You're, I feel like you're both walking away towards happiness, right? True happiness. Um, and it's, it's destiny, this Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you were both supposed to have these crap relationships. Because it's one of those things, um, you know, it's like you don't know... And I feel like if there's if there's been a separation, it's like only to make you love each other more, you like to make you cherish it more, right? For when you actually get together. Let's get some zodiac signs. Who's this person coming towards Sag? Could be a Virgo. Who's this person coming towards Sag? Could be a Gemini. Especially with this magician, I'm wondering if there's some Virgo Gemini connections watching that have Sagittarius in their chart. And maybe both of you have it, but like one of you, it's like a north node or a south node or something. Because if someone has, uh, pretty sure this is how it works. If someone has, yeah, north node, like Gemini north node, you have a Sagittarius south node, right? Let's get one more. Um, cancer. So whoever this person is could be a Cancer as well. And you have Libra at the bottom of the deck, so they might be a Libra. Let's get some messages. What would Sagittarius is Oh my god, that came out so fast. My question was going to be... What would Sagittarius' person say to them? So you have the Ace of Pentacles, hold out your hand, I have something for you. So it's this Ace of Pentacles, it's this new beginning coming in. And you know what's funny? I feel like you're both really stressed out <laughs> and you just don't need to be at all. It's like fated. So, um, and for those of you who are like worried you're never going to have children or something, Sorry, Sag, my camera cut out. Maybe this connection is taking a really long time. Like, I see children here. Really, I don't usually say that in readings, but it's coming out really heavily. So I feel like somebody needs to hear it, that there's children here for you, okay? Um, what else would Sagittarius' person like to say? Oh, you have the Two of Swords. Yeah. 
So I feel like a lot of this has been about a decision. I'm gonna put that one back. Uh, let's see if it comes out again. What would this, what would Sagittarius, this person, I feel like they're waiting for you. I feel like you're waiting for each other. What would Sagittarius, this person, like to say to them? Death. I broke free from old patterns. I'm not who I used to be. See, I feel like you're both. This person has, been, I feel like you've both undergone huge transformations and I feel like it's meeting each other that's done it because I like I said I think I said it right like you might both have some history of like going like subconsciously going for these crap relationships and it's a Carl Jung quote until you make the subconscious conscious it will direct your life and you will call it fate so it's like until you address these subconscious issues that are making you think it's a good idea to be in these relationships with toxic energies and make you feel like you're not worth more. It's just going to keep happening. But I feel like it's like you snapped each other out of it. You know what I mean? I feel like you met each other and you, you just snapped each other out of it. Tell me about this. What would this person say to Sagittarius? I'm gonna take. Are you not? Are we gonna take them all? No. I'm just gonna take. I'm gonna take that one. Um, with you, I have everything I need. The magician. So this is being manifested. You are both manifesting each other. You are everything. You have this. You both. You when you met, you weren't ready, and now you're both ready because you've been through. It's like you've been getting stronger and stronger and stronger and even though you're separate, you're separated from each other, I still feel like you give each other strength. <laughs> oh my god, King of Wands again. Someone here has definitely got fire in their chart. And you have the Four of Wands. So the King of Wands, ooh baby, it turns me on when you take control. This is, um, <laughs> yeah. I'm just, you have the devil here and the king of wands again. It's a really strong attraction, like a really strong physical attraction. And I feel like that's where the pregnancy comes from because it's just going to be like very, a very passionate relationship. But it's based on love is the thing because you have this ace of cups underneath. So it's like there's a lot of passion, but there's, it's, there's so much love. This is really beautiful. Sag, and you have my love, you're my happily ever after, the four of wands. Oh my gosh, you have the four of wands twice. And you have the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. Being with you is like a party, it's always fun. So they just love being with you and I feel like you love being with them. So let's get some characteristics. This is going to be confusing because... I, I feel like you, some of you are manifesting, you know, I feel like you're, some of you, there's two of your energies are in here, so why don't we do it this way? We'll get some characteristics for the Emperor, and we'll get some for the Empress, and then you can figure it out. Um, give me some characteristics about the Emperor first. Give me some characteristics about the Emperor. Tell me about the Emperor. God. Just dropped half the deck there. Tell me about, okay, let's do the Empress first. Tell me about this Empress. Friendly. They may also have one of these dogs as well. So that's a Collie. So this Empress is very friendly. Tell me about this Empress. Um... I'm just gonna, let me reshuffle. Uh, tell me about this Empress, please. You had family as well. I just feel very strongly this, like for a lot of you, this is, there's children here. Or, you know, making a family or something. Um, making a home, but you know, for those of you looking for children, 
and tell me about, because I know I'm saying it again and again but I feel like someone needs to hear it because I feel like you're worried that you're not going to have children or something you will okay stop worrying so this empress is very energetic Jack Russell <laughs> um, tell me about this empress Tell me about this empress, please. I just feel like this connection is taking a really long time to come together. Yep, family again. A vi Maran. Somebody told me how to say it. A vi vi Marana, right? I think um, you're gonna have a family with this empress, whoever they are for a lot of you. Tell me about this, um, let's get one more for the Empress. They really want to drive that home for some reason, this family thing. Okay, this Empress is very relaxed. You have Basset Hound, which is, it's very Empress energy. She's very relaxed, you know, she just lets things flow. She's very abundant and you have kindness, a Sharpie. So this, this Emperor is a really, sorry, the Empress. Is there, she's such a sweetheart, he or she. Um, and tell me about the emperor. Tell me about the emperor, please. Tell me about the emperor. Okay, you have sensitive, a shepherd dog. That's just come out over cancer. So this emperor may have some cancer in their chart or they may just be like, if it, I don't know if it's a male or the masculine, they might be very in touch with their feminine side, right? Oh, they're so loving. I feel like they're very excited about this connection with you. Um, you have love here. A Eurasia. <laughs> They're just. This emperor is just lovely. I feel like you're both just a really lovely energy. It's just such a lovely match. So you have sensitive and love. This emperor has a lot of love to give. <laughs> um, they're very affectionate. You have a cockapoo which I can't even believe that's the name of a dog. <laughs> um, so they're very affectionate, this emperor. I feel like this emperor has a really squishy side. You know, they might be, I don't know, the emperor, they might, if you're dealing with a Virgo, that might be their energy, I don't know. Um, because it's kind of similar. I always think the emperor energy is kind of similar to Virgo, like it's, they're very structured, they're very organized, um, very disciplined, very loyal. But it doesn't matter. I mean, whoever it is, they may they may kind of appear like that on the surface, like very structured, very disciplined, very organized. Um, maybe a little for you know intimidating for some people, not for you, because you're the empress in this emperor here, or you know you're the emperor, whatever. But. They, you know, people may feel the same about this empress. Maybe to other people, you're both kind of intimidating, but you see each other, right? And also, you're not that intimidating because you end up getting into these terrible relationships with people. Um, but whoever the emperor is, like, they might see, seem really tough on the outside, but they're just a big squishy ball of fur on the inside. Let's get one more, let's get two more for this uh, emperor, please. Tell me about this emperor. Tell me about this emperor. They're very calm. You have a Burmese mountain dog. So this emperor is a very calm energy, which is very emperor energy. And let's get one more. Tell me about this emperor, lively. See, I don't know about this lively one because this, this dog always ma makes me think, 
you know, they might, I don't know, they might stare at you a lot or they might have a very, they're very aware, they're very observant, they, they, they take notice of things, like they, they, you know, they notice little details, they're very aware. Um, mm -hmm. So that's the Emperor energy. So listen, I'm going to stop the reading there. Um, Sagittarius, I hope it was a useful reading. Yeah, listen, this Emperor energy, you might find that they stare at you a lot or... Yeah, like when you first meet, they stare at you. They're just very observant. They'll notice a lot of stuff about you. They notice a lot about their surroundings. Like, they might be very calm and not move very fast and stuff, but they're noticing a lot more than people give them credit for, you know, than, than you would notice. Uh, so yeah, I hope this was a useful reading, Sag. Many thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it a lot. And many blessings, Sag. Love and light.